And back to Corno, because uh, as Lars mentioned, a lot of organizations are now not only moving online, but also scaling up because a lot of people are now using these systems. You know, what, is our, what are the preparations and measures you take that? Because all of a sudden we have a lot of more people using VPN, video, and so on. So what is the technology, but also how do you monitor and, and intervene, yeah. especially if your own yeah. stuff is not maybe working in there? Yeah. The, the, the people uh, working in my uh, department are uh, constantly monitoring if all the servers provide enough performance. For example, the huge use of video lectures for now it's all on uh, what we call a video server. And we have to take care that that continues and that it works uh, good as the way it, it should. Uh, and we are able to uh, add more resources if that is necessary. Yeah, I think what, that what, what, one of the things that, mm -hmm. that, that I like is that people are uh, mailing me saying, well, this is great, this kind of tool. Say, yeah, that's the tool we introduced five years ago or six years ago, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they try to discover, oh, well, we have all kinds of nice possibilities here at the university, and, and that's good. Yeah, so I, I actually like that what now has changed is that before this was a facilitating thing now all of a sudden had become a critical infrastructure, yeah, a critical uh, infrastructure yes. part right yes, so yes. that changes yeah. also your role yeah. in the organization all of a sudden uh, yeah you almost have bargaining power with our uh, ceo and our board yeah, of directors well, <laughs> well, we we all have the the, the corona crisis now but t t two two months ago we had the cyber crisis yeah the caused by uh, the university of maastricht yeah so this is the second crisis we already and w what's what really what I really like is that people uh, sending me mails saying, how, ca how can we help you? C can you manage? Yeah, from people that I say, well, I didn't expect it from, from you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, Lars, do you, do you see the same in our organizations that now the role of IT departments and IT support uh, have become more, uh, like say critical, but you know, also the way the organization yes. looks yeah. at them? Yeah, last Monday was a big day. Yeah. Uh, many people in Holland uh, had to stay home and uh, all the support people in, in companies, uh, they had a very busy day uh, to get everyone up and running. Also, uh, there's a big uh, difference in, uh, I'm talking now very generally, but there's a big, uh, I mean, if you're talking about a law firm, they have a, uh, usually a different uh, kind of uh, uh, persons that are working there with a different kind of attitude towards uh, this kind of technology. Um, uh, it, differ, it differs uh, in that sense, uh, but many uh, uh, IT uh, uh, people I sp uh, spoke with last week were, were very, um, yeah, were kind. They had a very busy time, but they were able to uh, to support their uh, their users uh, as they as they wanted to. Um, yeah, how, but, how do people um, how do people provide like? support? Sorry, sorry, Lars. How do people provide support? Yeah. Because now you have to provide support on remote working while remote working. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So that's um, usually what you see is uh, if if they're not very uh, mature in, in that sense, then they use the the, the consumer tools like uh, Team Viewer to to uh, help the, the user uh, at home uh, because uh, sometimes uh, the user doesn't even have a device uh, owned by the company so the the IT uh, support uh, person will help uh, on the private uh, laptop or, or uh, that the user has at home to give him access to the correct resources so already if you talk about that you see that it's it's really adapting because it's not uh, all according to pro uh, policies in terms of security and, and things like that. That's not the main uh, priority at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, but this is the way, uh, and, and uh, also some people are um, uh, more ad advanced users than others. So in some cases, something simple takes a lot of time to set up uh, because the other person on, uh, that has to push the buttons uh, is not able uh, to do it uh, fast. So, uh, so, but it's uh, something that, uh, in practice, uh, it seems to work. Uh, what I hear from uh, from the from the IT support guys, uh, it, it just takes some time. And, and in the two days, the last yesterday it was already much better with uh, many companies uh, that uh, that they were able to work. Uh, and, and some, some organizations just uh, say, okay, you can come to the office to pick up uh, some resources that you need for, for the coming days. And, um, and then it's kind of offline, online, a mix of uh, tasks that they can take, uh, take away. So, yeah. Excellent. So it's yeah. just uh, uh, adapting. Yeah. yeah.
Uh, yeah, corner. Can I, can I add something to yeah. that? Uh, one of the things that, um, uh, well, you started your um, uh, saying that uh, there are five megatrends. One of the megatrends is cloud computing. Mm -hmm. uh, and one of the things that I have to get used to is that we're not in charge on the cloud computing services that we offer. For example, Canvas is a cloud computing service. We're not running Canvas on one of the services here at the university. Suppose you have problems with Canvas. In a few years ago, I could say, well, I mean, people are looking at, we give priority to Canvas, and we give them extra resources. But now, all, quite a few universities use Canvas, and uh, the, the, um, the, the ask for Canvas services is huge. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and I cannot manage that. Yeah. So if we should have, a, we don't have a problem with Canvas, but if we should have a problem with Canvas, well, we depend on decisions Canvas makes. Yeah. So yeah, you should, because of the cloud solutions, you do b essentially a bit of outsourcing. Yeah. So do. I think then a key component the takeaway here is that as part of this outsourcing, it's not only your regular operations, but also yeah. how well are these outsourced yeah. companies ready and to support you in times of exactly. these? Exactly. And are they prepared for the huge amount of people using Canvas? Yeah. Ah. yeah normally, in, when we did it internally, we would say, well, okay, we have a problem. We give priority to that or that service. But we can't do that anymore. Yeah, yeah exactly. So it's a, that's, that's an interesting that's one. one that's uh, yeah? uh, Lars, go ahead. Uh, I would say that's one, one aspect. But the other side of that story would be that any um, a professional cloud service organization uh, has much better uh, facilities uh, using data centers and uh, using dedicated resources to, to keep up uh, this kind of service uh, than any organization uh, not that 99% of the organizations would be able to do. So it's, it's uh, a big, also a big benefit of being in the cloud that uh, if you work with a professional cloud supplier, that, uh, that this, uh, this, this is better and, and, and proves to be working. And the other part is that something I, I see uh, from my role is that organizations that don't see the, the, the need uh, to, to spend uh, enough uh, on, on these resources and also about the SLA, there's the service level agreements, um, yeah, that means that what is, the, what is uh, the agreement that you have with the cloud supplier once something happens, within how much time and, uh, and to what level will you be supported? Uh, so that is something you need to, to, uh, to think yeah. about, just not uh, pushing the button of the license, but also what if, and do I have, maybe I need an external support company to help me uh, in case of emergencies. Well, think about those uh, scenarios. Yeah, so I, th yeah. I think this is, and this is. also cloud supplies are, are sorry. Su yeah, sorry. Uh, no, I just yeah, wanted to. Uh, are also <laughs> facing this uh, trouble. Is that, this, this is perfectly illustrating my point about the difficulty of doing video conferencing. Yeah. Um, but I think, uh, I think it's indeed this, this in on-premise outsourcing, cloud computing. It's, I'm, I'm not saying that they're, you know, what the golden solution, but these are all considerations that you have to make as an organization. Yeah. And you don't only, there could be SLAs, but you could also think about alternatives. What if that whole service is not available? So yeah. contingency planning. Yeah.